Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a short video and discuss for me the 10 reasons why people I think don't like Meghan Markle and now are really starting to dislike Harry. Now of course the sugars as they're known tend to harass anyone that points out these obvious points, then they accuse people of stalking, they call them racist, and then they become even more abusive if that's even possible. But the truth is really simple, so here we go. Number one, Harry and Meghan had a fabulous wedding, which the public contributed to in a very large way with both their presence and funding. But before the wedding, they were offered to pass on the titles so she could continue to work. And she said no, that she wanted the titles. And I believe she took the titles because she always planned on leaving the UK the entire time. She then claimed that she made billions for the UK due to the wedding. Now that's already been debunked. And let's face it, people would have shown up no matter who Harry married because the UK loves Harry. Number two, she stated she gave up her entire life for the royal family, but she was only in it for two years. And in those two years, she only worked 70 some odd days. Before that, she lived in a rental home in Canada, and she was on a Canadian show that most people in the United States have never even heard of. Number three, she called to thank one of her very ardent supporters, who happens to be one of the people who has been insulting Kate, the Queen, and the entire royal family on a regular basis. There is no way with the amount of vetting that these two do of who they associate with, that they didn't know who this was. But let's just play devil's advocate and say that they didn't know. But when they found out, why didn't Megan issue a statement that condemned her actions towards her in-laws? Number four, they said they wanted a private life and then they jumped on the COVID bandwagon. Then it was the Black Lives Movement bandwagon. Now it's the election bandwagon. And it's pretty obvious they never wanted a private life. They were in for money, which ties back to the titles because no one would hire just Harry and his wife. The constant Zoom calls they released, the showing up to deliver meals once, to hand out school supplies once. And they take a photographer with them when they do so so that they can copyright the pics. That's not philanthropic, it's commercial. And I find it interesting that basically they're setting up pap shots, which is something they always said they hated. Number five, they have never actually donated their own money. The meals they gave out were paid for by somebody else. The school supplies paid for by somebody else. And when COVID was really rampant, they asked the BBC to donate money made and uh, these two didn't donate anything. Number six, their charity, if that's what it is, has missing money. I think when the accounts are gone through and they're going to be, they're gonna find inconsistencies and problems. And I wonder if people who donate realize you only have to give 5% of the money to charity and the rest they can use for expenses like private jets, which I find unbelievable as they keep touting on about the carbon footprint, but with their use of jets in just the last four years and the house they just bought, they're not living sustainably. So why should other people live sustainably? Number seven, she cries racism every single time anyone disagrees with her and she's hurting the Black Lives Movement greatly and she's doing a great disservice to amazing people like Martin Luther King. When the HRH titles that they agreed not to use, and she has anyway, by the way, when they get removed and the Sussex titles are removed because there's already a bill in the UK Parliament to do that, she's going to cry racism and she'll never admit it had anything to do with their behavior, that they're not living up to their Megxit agreement. She's half black, but she's also half white. She has called herself Caucasian while working. She has married three Caucasian men. And she now lives in a community that's 98% white for her own safety. Number eight, I believe the palace did a great job of covering for Harry and his crappy behavior in the past. Like when he dressed as a Nazi or he called his co-army buddies ragheads, they sent him to what I believe they called racial discrimination training. But then he said that he really didn't get racism until he married Megan. It's like when he says he has PD PTSD from the cameras, but it disappears when the cameras are there for him to make money. It shows that he's really very shallow and he's using his white privilege to make money. Number nine, they refused to take Archie to see the queen when he was first born, stating he was too young, but then they took him to New York on yet another private jet to watch tennis. And they did not bring him along when they returned to the UK for their last events, citing COVID. But then they took another private jet to California, which at the time had the highest numbers of COVID in the United States. And I believe Archie's being used as a pawn at this point. And that's why the queen has not seen him since he was born. And finally, number 10, the Netflix deal. This is upsetting on so many levels. There are people in this world that have worked for years to try to break into the entertainment industry. 
And yet these two got a deal worth millions, not based on what they could do, just based on their titles. Because let's face it, if Megan had gone to them before she married Harry, she would have been laughed out of the building. Netflix could have donated some of that money to charity and to help the homeless. And I personally canceled my subscription. And when I stated that fact on Twitter, one of the sugars read it and said that nobody would care that I canceled. But now Netflix stock is falling dramatically and they've taken a big hit. And so I believe that people really do care. And it also has something to do with the cuties controversy, which I find that to be nothing more than child porn. And again, Megan and Harry have stayed silent, kind of like the Invictus games that they backed out of, which could have been done virtually, could have been done in any other way. But instead, as it turns out, it was because it was going to be on a rival streaming setup. So these are just 10 instances of things that they've done that I believe are making them actually two of the most hated people in the world. Have a nice day.